Welcome back to Grow New Plants. Today I've got a rose hip and I'm going to harvest and store the seeds out of it. And this is what a, a uh, ripe mature rose hip looks like. And I want to show you real quick, I have a picture of this one that I took earlier in the summer. So that's what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to snip this thing off. We'll get to cutting it open okay so i have this thing off now and i've got a just got this on this piece of ceramic tile i use to cut plants and stuff on i just use it like a cutting board but it's smooth and i got a brand new razor blade here so i'm very gently going to just slice this thing open you don't want to go too deep in there because i don't want to cut through any seeds i have no idea how many seeds are going to be in it and I do not know what this thing is crossed with. It's a, it's a Queen Elizabeth rose, but it was already had a fertilized rose hip on it when I got it. But the reason that I'm gonna grow it anyway, I don't know what kind of rose it's gonna be. It could have been self-fertilized. Oh, it's got a lot of seeds in it. See all those seeds in there? So I don't know what it's going to be, but I want, basically, I'm going to try and hybridize some roses next year. So basically what I'm really wanting to do is just practice growing roses from seed this year. And then hopefully I'll have some hips going next year that I know what they're crossbred with. I've got four or five varieties right now, all hybrid tea roses that I'm going to try and put together. So this thing is very ripe. It's not even fleshy inside. Now, this thing has had one frost, one real light frost on it. And they say, some people say, you want to let them go until they get a frost on them. I think the main thing is just once they get to full color. So all I want to do is just dig out all these seeds. Get them off that pulp there. That's all of them off of that one. Some are bigger than others got a lot of seeds in it I've, I've seen some videos with people doing these and I mean they only get a handful of seeds like maybe five or six seeds or something but this one has a lot of seeds in it so that's good and there's like I said this could be just a cross pollination of itself or you know the bees or something could have pollinated it with some other rose bush at the nursery so there's no telling what it's going to look like but Never know. Like I said, right now I'm just mainly looking for the experience of growing them from seeds. See if I can store them properly and get them to grow in the spring. Man, there's all different sizes in here too. I'm assuming these bigger ones are gonna be my best bet, but okay. So I've got them all out now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop them into some water and try and get what pulp is left on them off and separate them out where I've got good viable seeds. I'm probably, from looking at these, these little bitty seeds, I'm probably just gonna go with these bigger seeds. That'll give me my best chance. I've probably got a dozen or more, so. Okay, so I'm gonna reset up here and then I'm gonna drop these in some water and get them cleaned off good. Okay, so I just got a clean bowl of water here and I'm just going to drop my big seeds back down in there. And going off of, I'm going to get them cleaned off first before I know for sure. General rule in seeds is if they float, they're not viable. It looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five floaters out of that. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 good ones. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since I got a pretty decent amount of seeds and this is just an experiment, I want to go with all my sinkers. So I'm just kind of going around and rubbing these around, getting them as clean as I can. They don't have to be perfect, but you just don't want the pulp left on them. And these were pretty well dried out. And I guess it's because I pulled them out late. 
you know, if I'd taken it a little bit earlier, it'd probably been a little more pulpy inside. But these were pretty well dried up inside, so. So, now I'm going to take them, pull them back out. I still got a little bit of stuff on it, but that'll be all right. You'll have to excuse my voice. My allergies have been tearing me up, so I'll it makes my voice really low sounding. <laughs> Doesn't normally sound like this, but let's see. You can get them all out, and we'll double count, double check the count. Okay, so we got one, two, three. They look kind of like a lemon seed or an orange seed or something like a small citrus seed. So. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. So we got thirteen seeds. So that'll be good. We will take those, and basically, I'm just going to take a a Ziploc bag here, and I'm just going to drop them down in the Ziploc bag. I'm not putting any median in with them. I'm dropping them in so they're still going to be a little bit moist. Whatever water is still on the outside of the seed, but I'm not going to pour any excess water in it. And I don't know for sure if I'm doing this the correct way or not, but from my experience with seeds If you get them too wet They'll end up molding and rotting So I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna seal this thing up I'm not taking all the air out, but I'm not leaving an excess amount of air in there And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drop it in the crisper in my refrigerator and Then in the spring we'll plant them and I'll have the greenhouse finished for sure by then and so we'll plant these in the spring, so there'll be a follow-up video in the spring when I plant these things. And hopefully we get some baby rose bushes to come up. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification. And that way you know when the follow-up videos come out, you'll get notified. So there will be a, for sure a follow-up on this one one way or another in the spring. Thanks for watching. Bye.